Hey everyone, it's Oli Lindley here from One Number, and I just wanted to talk you through something that you might bump into when you're trying to filter your table calculations, right? So the normal scenario looks something like this. We've got subcategory and sum of sales, and we can see that we've got a table calculation, uh, percentage of total sum of sales. So what that means is that chairs is 14.43% of our total sales. Now, as I filter out some of these subcategories, instead of chairs remaining at 14.43%, it's now 18.49%, which is fine most of the time, it's kind of what we want, but it could be uh, misleading, maybe frustrating if you're in a situation where what you're trying to show is the percentage of total with reference to all the subcategories and not just the subcategories in the view, right? So the reason why this happens is because of Tableau's order of operations. So if we take a look at this, we've got a dimension filter, that's our subcategory filter. Then we've got our table calculation right down here at the bottom, right? So the, this table calc is our percentage of total sum of sales. Now, what that means is every single time our dimension filter uh, you know, alters, our subcategories change, the table calc, the percentage of total sum of sales, recalculates for the subcategories in the view. So what we're going to do is swap this around. So instead of using a dimension filter, I'm going to use a table calc filter, which has been specially designed to help us deal with table calculations in this way. I guess the benefit is that you don't need to uh, create these super crazy calculated fields to help you find those values. So just to prove to you that this does work, let me show you what this would look like. So it's exactly the same from a presentation standpoint, but just keeping our eyes on chairs, let's uncheck some of these other ones. And we can see that's still 14.43%. Okay, so pretty cool, used in the right situation. I'll show you how to build this right now, but I just wanna say, if you're interested about learning more about Tableau, why not come and join us for a class? Uh, we've got classes from beginners classes all the way through to advanced classes. You can find out more in the description below. But we are super excited about this offering for the new year, for 2025. Why not ramp up your Tableau skills this year? Uh, come and join us. We'd love to have you. Okay, so how exactly did we build this? Well, let's pop subcategory on rows, sales on columns. I'll make this entire view, descending sort, and I'm going to hold down command, control if you're on Windows, and drop some of sales onto label. Now... Same here, there's nothing fancy about this table calc. I'm just gonna say percentage of total. So that's not the magic. The magic is in the filter. Now, if we just drag subcategory onto filter, we're gonna be back at that dimension filter level, which is not what we want. So we're gonna create a calculated field and I'm gonna call this my lookup filter. Now, this might feel a little bit weird as we sort of type it out, but I'll show you kind of how this works. We're gonna start with lookup. If you've ever edited a calculated uh, table calculation before, you'll know many, many of them use lookup. So all lookup does is it just references a point in relation to the current point. So it's super useful. In our case, we're kind of gonna use lookup to work around some of these limitations. Maybe this is gonna be our actual table calculation, but it's not gonna do anything other than refer to our subcategory here, right? So this is our calculated field. Look up minimum subcategory zero. So just to break it down, we put up min because every field in a table calculation needs to be aggregated. So min subcategory it is, not that it's doing anything crazy. So we're looking up each subcategory and the offset is zero. So offset is the, the magic number that gets look up to refer to the point after or before the current point. Zero just means it's gonna to refer to the current point or the subcategory that we select, right? If it was lookup minus one, it would be the subcategory before the current one. Now I'm gonna drop lookup onto filters. Beautiful, that's already looking good, isn't it? I'll select all, right click and show that filter. And now keeping our eye on that 14.43%. Come on, so good. Okay, hope that helps. If you've got any questions, feel free to throw them down in the discussion section below. I'll be back to you as soon as I can. And if there's anything else that you'd like us to cover in Tableau, let us know. All right, have a lovely year. We'll see you soon.